dear students as you know your online assessment uh, are very close so i have decided to take few topics for your revision so today the topic that i have taken is the pair of linear equations in two variables if there are two uh, equations and they are in two variables say in x and y so you know that those two equations can be solved means the values of x and y can be obtained by algebraic method that is elimination method or substitution method and they can be solved by graphical method also so today i'll take an example and then i'll tell you how to uh, solve the given equations by algebraic method and by graphical method so the first question is x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0 that is equation number 1 x minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 that is equation number 2 now first of all I am going to solve these two equations by algebraic method and I am going to apply elimination method by elimination method so you can see in both the equations the coefficient of y are same and they have opposite signs also that means if simply if you add equation 1 and 2 then the term containing y will be cancelled so adding equation 1 and 2 x plus 3y is equal to 5 and x minus 3y is equal to minus 1 if you shift the constant on the other side now you see if uh, this is plus 3y minus 3y no need to change the sign just cancel x plus x 2x is equal to 5 minus 1 is 4 so x will be equal to 4 upon 2 that is 2 so we have found that the value of x is 2 now you put the value of x in say in equation number 1 so from equation 1 2 plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0 means 3y minus 3 is equal to 0 that means 3y is equal to 3 so y is equal to 1 so you can see we have found that x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 that is the answer means when we solve these two equations the value of x is 2 and the value of y is 1 that is the algebraic method now i will tell you how to solve these two equations graphically for that first for x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0 you make a table as they are linear equations you know when you draw the graph you will get a straight line and to draw a straight line only two points are sufficient but just to check whether we are doing it correctly or not it will take three points so first of all First of all, put x is equal to, uh, say, if you put x is equal to uh, minus 1. When you put x is equal to minus 1, you can see minus 1 and minus 5 will be minus 6. When you shift it to the other side, it will be plus 6. So, y is equal to 6 upon 3, that is 2. So, when x is minus 1, y is equal to 2. Then you put x is equal to 2. When you put x is equal to 2, 2 minus 5 will be minus 3. 
shift it to the other side, it will be 3. 3 y is equal to 3, so y is equal to 1. And at last, you put x is equal to, say, x is equal to 5. When you put x is equal to 5, 5 minus 5 will be 0, so y will also be 0. So, we have found 3 points, minus 1 comma 2, 2 comma 1 and 5 comma 0. And now for the other line, for x minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. And now once again, you draw a table like this. Now, when you put x is equal to minus 1, minus 1 plus 1 will be 0, so y is equal to 0. When you put x is equal to 2, so 2 plus 1 is 3, so minus 3y will be equal to minus 3, so y is equal to 1. And when you put x is equal to say 5, then 5 plus 1 6, so 3y is equal to 6, so y is equal to 2. Now we have found 3 points on the second line also. Now you have to plot these points, clear? So for that, take a graph paper. Now on x axis, the maximum value that we have to plot is 5 and the minimum that we have to plot is minus 1. Similarly on y axis, the maximum value is 2 and the minimum value is 0. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is positive in direction. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Negative in direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Positive y direction, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. That is negative y direction. So you will do it on the graph paper and you will get uh, a very accurate result. Now, I can write here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1. Now, for the first line, when x is minus 1, y is 2. When x is minus 1, y is 2 means here. That is the point. When x is 2, y is 1. When x is 2, y is 1. Here. And... When x is 5, y is 0, means here. So when you join all these three points, so you can see, you will get a straight line like this. Okay? Like this. So this line is actually x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0. Now the second one means this one, when x is minus 1, y is 0. When x is minus 1, y is 0 means here. When x is 2, y is 1, that is here. And when x is 5, y is 2. When x is 5, y is 2, means here. Okay, now when you join them, You can see again we are getting a straight line and this line is actually x minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. So we have, we have drawn the graph of both the uh, linear equations and now you see the two lines they intersect each other at this point and this point is actually 2 comma 1 that means 
the value of x is 2 and the value of y is 1. So, graphically also, we are getting the same answer. Here it was 2 comma 1 uh, in by algebraic method and by graphical method also it is 2 comma 1. Clear? Okay. Now, when you draw the graph of two linear equations and suppose the two equations they are like this, means they are intersecting each other at this point. So, this is intersecting. Intersecting. And when, uh, you know, when two lines intersect each other, they intersect at a single point. So that means, when two lines, when two linear equations, when we draw the graph of two linear equations and they are intersecting, then there will be only one value of x and only one value of y. Or we can say that we have a unique solution. I repeat, when the graph of two linear equations they intersect. That means on solving those two linear equations, we will get only one value of x and only one value of y. So, it is called the unique solution. Unique solution. Okay. Now, Suppose you draw the graph of two lines, two linear equations and they are parallel. When you draw the graph of two linear equations and they are parallel like this, that means here you can see the, by the diagram, they are not intersecting, they are parallel. And when they are not intersecting, that means we don't have any value of x or y. So it is called no solution. No solution. So, in case of intersecting lines, we have unique solution, only one value of x and only one value of y. In case of parallel lines, we don't have any solution. No solution is there. Clear? And the third one, suppose you draw the graph of two lines and both the lines, they are one above the other, like this. Actually, there are two lines. Two lines are one above the other. Then they are called coincident. Okay? So, intersecting lines, parallel lines and coincident lines. Now, you know on, a, on two coincident lines, many points are common. So, in this case, we have infinitely many solutions. Not 1, not 2, not 3, not 10, not 100. We have infinite solutions. So, we call it infinitely many solutions. We call it infinitely many solutions okay we call it infinitely many solutions okay now out of the three here in these two cases we are getting the values of x and y there no solution means no value of x or y so these two are actually consistent in these two in these two cases equations are consistent And here it is inconsistent. So, 
if the lines are intersecting or they are coincident then the equations are consistent and if the lines are parallel means no solution then the equations are inconsistent clear now without drawing the graph or without solving how can we say that the equations are uh, they are they have unique solution or no solution or infinite even solution so i'll give you uh, one method say a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 this is one equation and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 this is the second equation a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 is the first equation and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 is the second equation. Now, find a1 upon a2, b1 upon b2, c1 upon c2. First of all, you have to find the coefficient of x in the first equation is a1 in the second equation it is a2 the coefficient of y in the first equation it is b1 and in the second equation it is b2 and the constant term in the first equation is c1 and it is c2 in the second equation now what do you have to do first of all you find a1 upon a2 b1 upon b2 and c1 upon c2 now if a1 upon A2 is not equal to B1 upon B2. Okay, nothing to do with C1 upon C2. If A1 upon A2 is not equal to B1 upon B2, then it is indicating unique solution. Means those two equations will have unique solution. Okay. So I repeat, if a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2, whatever be the value of c1 upon c2, the, the two equations will have unique solution, means one value of x and one value of y. Now the second case, if a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2, but it is not equal to c1 upon c2. Now see. Suppose a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2, but c1 upon c2 is different, it is not equal. In that case, if a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2, but c1 upon c2 is not equal, then the lines will be parallel and it is indicating no solution. No solution. It is indicating no solution. Clear? And the third one, if a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2, means all three ratios are equal. If a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2, then it shows infinitely many It shows infinitely many solutions. So always remember these things. If a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2, then it did show unique solution. If a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but not equal to c1 upon c2, then no solution. And if uh, a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2, then show they show infinitely many solutions clear now in the question that i gave you the, 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 the equations were x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0 and x minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now tell me what is a1 upon a2? 
1 upon 1 that is 1 b1 upon b2 3 upon minus 3 that is minus 1 and c1 upon c2 minus 5 upon 5 is minus 5 now you can see it is very clear that a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 because a1 upon a2 is 1 and b1 upon b2 is minus 1 so a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 so it is quite clear that first one is the case so the two equations will have unique solution and that is why we got unique solution in that case if you remember clear so re remember these conditions in your exam you have to apply these uh, conditions to solve the questions so in the next class we will revise one more topic